Hey guys, uh, it's another episode of our Massey Art Studios and our studio. And uh, today we are going to be doing Metallica. No, I'm just kidding. Metallics <laughs> and our Metallics paints. Um, and they're really, really beautiful. Um, when we got them and we were very excited because they're like these coppers and this like ivory like sparkle mm. and, um, and I'll go over all the names of them with you. Um, We've never done a full, full metallic picture before. Not, not a full metallic. No, so no, this, this is this gonna be first. really interesting to see yeah. how this turns out. Yeah. So I'm gonna be doing a Dutch pour. Um, you are? I am. Wow, okay. Yes, a Dutch pour okay. with a black background. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna flood the canvas with black and uh, and then do my Dutch over that. Right. And what are you gonna do? I'm gonna do, I haven't told you what I'm gonna do. You haven't. I'm gonna do the dustpan pour. Oh, yeah. with so metallics. Yeah, so with the metallics, know. either one stripe or two, depending on how it comes out, we're using 16 by 16 gallery wrapped canvases again. Yes. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna have enough room to do two, but I'm definitely doing the dustpan pour again. So pouring into a Cute. cup first, then into the dustpan, then onto Cute. the canvas. Cute. Yeah. Cute. 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 That's the plan. Yes, and uh, I think it's gonna look really, really good. I can't wait to show you guys the results um, whenever we're done on the next video. Yeah, and who's gonna, the next video is also, blah, blah, the next video oh, is also our special guest. Who? No, no, no. Oh, wait, that's right. Yeah, it's our special, special guest guests. Appearance. That's right, the next video is our special guest appearance. Um, or we have a special guest appearance, <laughs> something like that. Someone um, who is appearing. Just, who yes. is a special guest. Yes. My head is like kind of all over the place this morning. Um, anyway, so. It's okay. Yes. Don't worry. So I just remember you. to please like and subscribe. I hope that you like these videos. And, uh, and let's get to it. <laughs> okay, so as Jeremy just said, we're gonna use about five metallics that came in a box of um, Arteza metallic paints. And they are the Pearl Deep Brown. We've got the Pearl Space Gray. We've got the Pearl Marmalade. We've got the Pearl White. And the Aztec Gold. All our favorite colors. Um, and in one pour. So, um, what? Sorry, no. you were stepping on my mic cord. I've been on your mic cord. Yes. This isn't your show. So <laughs> you can just slow your roll there for a second. Um, <laughs> I'm going to use the dust pan, but first off, I'm going to layer the paints within the cup. Um, I'm not going to do this on camera because I don't want you to see me splash all over this beautiful canvas. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to stretch fully up and down. So I'm going to do that off camera. When you come back, I'm going to have a cup that's going to be fully poured. Okay. All right, so I have layered my cup with all of my metallics, as you can see. Now I have my dustpan. So now I'm going to cup pour the colors onto the dustpan for me to layer. I'm just going to pour a little bit of the pearl white in the pan first, just to start me off. And I'm going to get as much of this in as I can, because last time I did the dustpan pour, I didn't have enough paint in the dustpan. So we're going to maybe even take two passes at this, maybe one at the top and one at the bottom. But we're going to see how this goes. So we're gonna try and get as much of these metallics layered into here as possible. Doing some up high, doing some a lot lower. Getting all those beautiful layers. When I start to get towards either the front edge or the back edge, I know I'm gonna to have to stop because I'm not gonna be able to layer any more paint. But I'm gonna keep going. Get those ribbons in there. Okay, this is where I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna give this a real quick torch just to help any of the cells. And let's go. Okay. So Look at the dust pan, it's so cool. Okay, 
I'm going to do this again and I'm going to do another stripe on the bottom. So um, I'm going to layer my cup again. I have plenty of paint. So I'm going to do that first. Thank you. All right, so we're back with the pan and another cup of paint. I'm going to swirl this one into the pan again. And I'm going to do this slightly off to the side. You'll still be able to see me, but I don't want to drip over my painting. So I'm just going to do it here. And guys, this is looking stunning. Like this is so beautiful. Thank you, baby. I'm so excited to see what happens. You and me both. those ribbons out. Okay, I think that's as much as I can do. Back, yeah. yeah, I see that. Okay. Oh, yeah. wow. That okay. Is unbelievably beautiful super excited about that i was a little worried about having those little like little marks in it like i did last time um when i did the blue kind of sound wave when you don't have enough paint on your dustpan you kind of create these like little little divots but i didn't get that so i'm super excited um i am going to stretch this out a little um but actually not too much i'm going to use my black what i've seen Sarah Mack do um, is actually use the black as a way to make indentations in the actual colors that she's already layered. Um, so I'm gonna see what I can do, but I'm not gonna go over the colors. I'm just gonna go over the black just to create more of a, a line. And I already have a base coat of black, but I'm gonna add a little here just so that I can flow. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just stretch out the top and then stretch out the bottom. So I'm gonna go away from me first, just to take some of the paint off the top and create some lines on the bottom. And I'm not taking too much of the paint off. And then I'm gonna come back I really do want to keep that thick black line. I don't even really want to take that gold off the bottom. So I'm going to add in just a little more black. Just here. Oops, sorry, that was our torch. Because now I'm going to stretch the other way. I do have a lot of paint on this canvas right now. Okay, and now back. Are you gonna let it run off the bottom? I'm letting it run off the bottom, yes. But I'm not gonna take it off the top. And I do want like an interesting line to run through the middle, so. I like it. Well, you that. got that. It yeah. looks stunning. I really like that thick layer of black. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to go off the bottom just a little and then stretch it back to myself. Because I want to try and get some of those lines that I can see if I now stretch it back, it should come back towards me. And I want that black to come back, which I should get. I think that's beautiful. Thank you, baby. Yeah. I'm not going to mess with it too much more. Good, because I love it the way it is. Yeah. I just want to get this black down to the bottom. Like that. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. Now I'm going to take the torch just to pop any quick air bubbles on top but before I do that let me just remove my gloves because the last thing I want to do is drip, <laughs> drip my hands and paint on top of this canvas so let me do that first 
Wow, look at all these bubbles. So many bubbles. Now I'm not expecting there to be tons of cells. And I don't want there to be tons of cells. Um, I kind of really love seeing the, the lines on this one. And that's exactly what I wanted to see. Okay, that's me done. I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and go all the way around it, but let's take you in for a close up. Hopefully you can see what I'm seeing, which is basically just tons of shimmer. Hey guys, it's Jeremy. Um, you caught me at the time whenever I flooded my canvas here. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and torch it real quick. And what pour are you doing again? I am doing a Dutch pour. Oh, that's right. The Flying Dutchman pour. Someone was asking me why it's called the Dutch pour in that's, the comments. And that's I have, a great question. Well, I tried to research it and couldn't find the answer. So, um, I honestly don't know, so if anyone does know and wants to throw it in the comments, yeah. we'd appreciate it. I have a clue. I bet it is because it has something to do with the Dutch. I mean, I would guess that too. <laughs> like a Dutchman was the first person to do it, or woman for that matter. Yes. But yeah, I couldn't find a definitive answer. So what I am doing is, the Dutch pour is, I'm gonna draw a line, and then I'm gonna use the blow dryer to accentuate that line. So let's see here, I'm gonna start out with this pearl white. Here we go. Let's do this one next. Let's do this bronze next. This one? Mm -hmm. This one is called Marmalade. Or Marmalade, one of the two. <laughs> Lady Marmalade. And time for the goods. Now, is this the antique gold or is this the. That's the antique gold. It is the antique gold. There is gold. in the same set of eight paints, there's a gold as well, but that's the antique gold. Gold is known for taking over a canvas. So, just gonna do a very little bit light. Just light again. Just but there. Both of them. All right. Yay! All right, let's see here. I'm going to throw this cord over my shoulder so I don't get it into the paint. So, get my setting going. And. Holy moly, guys. Oh my God, I just absolutely love this. I love the coppers and like this little gunmetal gray color that came through. A space gray. A space gray. And look, as it's sitting, the cells are starting to I know, pop, up. pop up through yeah. the black. Yeah, this is so beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm not gonna do anything to it. I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, torch it, get the bubbles out and I don't know, I don't think there's anything I really need to do to it. Um, I mean, I could like do a little bit right here maybe, or maybe a little bit right here, come up with it a little bit more. 
I love your fa your you know, I'm not going to do anything to it. <laughs> but what I am going to do is futz with it here, there, and everywhere. I know. I just think a little bit right here and a little bit right there might be good. I like that idea too. You're going to use okay. the little dryer. I am going to use the little blow dryer. I'm going to grab that real quick. All right. All right, throw this over my shoulder, just like I did the other one, and let's... I like that better. All right, guys, I'm in love with it. I think it's amazing. Um, I can't wait to see what happens when it dries. I'm loving the pearl that's coming through now and yeah, the changing. copper and it is, it's changing so much. It's really going to change. I think when it dries and when you torch it and when I torch it. So I'm going to go ahead and torch it now. Put my awesome little hair dryer down. Hopefully this will produce some more cells. Really good. Woohoo! All right, I'm in love with this. Um, it's beautiful. Yes, I can't wait for you guys to see the up close and the when it's dry. Um, all right, thanks guys. I think I'm gonna call it a, a day here. All right, well, thank you for watching us um, use those metallic paints. Yes. We love those metallics, um, and uh, we're really excited for you to see how they're gonna turn out. I hope you like that dustpan pour and the Dutch pour. Yes. We had a lot of fun today. Um, we wanna show you the results, the dried results, from the purple pour that happened on video seven. Yes. Um, if you'll allow me to go first. I will, I okay, will. Okay, so this was the 16 by 16 gallery wrapped. And this is my picture. I love it. I think it's so pretty. It's so purple and gold. <laughs> I mean, it's just purples and golds. But um, this was the open cup pour, if you remember. Like super nebula looking, cells everywhere and just love that shimmer. This is gonna look really great with the current resin on it. Yes. As will yours. Now mine, I really like a lot. Um, wow, look at that. I love the black on yours. It's so cool. It just kind of defined the picture. So I'm trying to like let you see up close kind of of it. You see the little band marks. I know, there. the little band marks. It's like purple and green and gold trees. <laughs> like well, weird trees if they were trees. I love it. It kind of, to me, it looks like a top down of like a mountain range. Like, oh, you know, yeah. this is like the Grand Canyon with all these rivulets. Yeah. Rivets, Topography. Rivulets. Yeah. Topography. Yeah. yeah. Words. Words. <laughs> words that just couldn't <laughs> come to me. These are words. <laughs> um, so those are the two pictures. We hope you enjoyed them. We hope you loved the metallics. Yes. Um, please, please stick around for the next video because we're going to have a very special, tiny guest who's going to be joining us in the studio. Yes. Um, so we're super excited to teach that person some pouring techniques. It's going to be awesome. Yes, it's going to be amazing. Please like and subscribe. Um, we're absolutely loving making this content for you and we're going to keep doing it as long as you keep watching it. Sure are. Right? Yep. Um, and um, that's it, everyone. Have a great day and we'll see you all for the very next video. Bye, guys. Bye.